Hello Zebahurt and welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6 and today we are continuing with the heli pilot action. We tried it a little bit along with the monkey ace last episode and now I want to play more as the heli pilot because it was so much fun and just try to earn up some experience with it. Um, it really doesn't matter too much the map with heli pilot. I think something like this would be fine. We are still keeping with Gwendolyn I guess. Maybe we should try uh, Quincy. He's a little bit more affordable. Not the most affordable, but he has the perfect balance between affordability and being able to uh, damage the balloons pretty quickly. And I don't know how well this is gonna turn out at first, so I think it's a good idea. Try, I just burped, I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but I'll try my best. So uh, yeah, we'll just do what we can. And it really doesn't matter where the uh, heli pilots are, I don't think, too much. I don't know if they get affected by like monkey towers and stuff, but I'm not too worried about it. For now, Quincy will tear them up. We'll save up um, the 1,500 coins we need. It is not cheap, for sure, it's super expensive. So we'll just try to make our way through and develop more of a strategy. But I would love to hear, what are your thoughts on the heli, heli pilot uh, tower? Do you think it's good, not so good? What are your tips with it? Some of the different strategies you use? I would love to hear, but for now, Quincy, Dart Monkey, it's all up to you guys to destroy this stuff. And so far, you got it handled, I think. Already at the almost $800 here, so I think that we'll be able to get this uh, helicopter pretty easily. And once the rough gets going, we'll be able to handle things even better. I mean, for now, we'll just have the heli pilot patrol a little bit. I might wanna try a heli pilot that doesn't have pursuit. I only tried ones that had pursuit last episode because I wanted to be able to do something new in today's episode, of course, but also because pursuit makes everything easy. I might, I might wanna start with pursuit and then move on to some other stuff, but I might wanna take a look, take a look at this, the, like, the, uh, the skill tree a little bit and make my decision from there. Hmm. For now though, almost at 1500. We almost got it, come on. Help me out, Dar Monkey. You got it. And boom. So we want to make him follow lock in place because if he, or not lock in place, but uh, patrol points because if he follows my touch, he's gonna be everywhere except for where he's supposed to be, you know? <laughs> and he seems to be doing some decent job destroying some stuff, but if we take a look at his upgrades, if we wanna do Pursuit, we'll also get Razor Rotors, which um, the Razor Rotor Blades rip up balloons on contact, including lead from frozen balloons, and then eventually the Apache Dart Ship, which is 20,000 coins, um, adds a large missile array and powerful machine guns. But then we can't see camo. I mean, we can see camo, actually. But I love the Moab Shove. So maybe this guy could be like our dedicated anti-Moab dude, and we can use Pursuit for somebody else. We could do these two and these three. I feel like that'd be pretty effective. And he mo he'll move really quickly too, if we get the uh, bigger jets, but I'll probably do faster firing to start things off. Because right now he is dedicated to taking these balloons out almost like exclusively by himself. And that'll be even better now that we have the uh, faster darts, or uh, the faster firing, and then it's even cheaper for the faster darts. So that'll be nice. Like, Pursuit would be nice, but I don't think it's necessary. The next Heli Pilot will definitely have Pursuit, because it's just really good. But I wanted to try one that didn't have it, and sort of see how things go. So we need 300 for the bigger jets, and then he'll start moving quickly, more quickly, and he definitely does. We can make him see camo, but I don't need to rush that so much. I mean, at this rate, it might just be better to start saving up for a second heli pilot because I'm not gonna need the Moab shove until round 40, right? So that, I don't wanna save up that 5,000 just yet. It'd be a bit of a waste. So I'll probably put the next heli pilot like to the right a little bit more. Okay, so we do have an upgrade though. We have the Comanche defense. Automatically calls in three more Comanches when they're most needed. Wow, okay, interesting. But when is when they're most needed? I don't know. What about this one? Mm, okay. This is cheaper though, 10,000. I mean, you pay for that earlier on because you have this 5,000 Moab shove, so it bounces out, but still easier to afford in the long run. I like that then. We'll probably just get that upgrade that now then. I mean, we're, we're gonna get a lot of experience as this guy. We'll get the Moab takedown, or not the Moab, but the uh, camo takedown, and we'll work with that. I mean, maybe it would be better if we did downdraft. No, 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 now that we got that upgrade, we should try to go for the bottom tier there. Uh, keep it with that then. And we'll try to save him another 1500. I think we'll be fine with that. Because I mean, Quincy can even reach a little bit behind this uh, this skull, the skeleton, whatever it is, the dinosaur. I mean, I guess it is just a skull. The skeleton's under the ground here. It's a very large dinosaur, to say the least. Very, very large. Yeah, honestly, if that entire skeleton is him, he has a bit of a tiny head. 
I mean, maybe I'm not visualizing it too well here, but it looks like he'd have a small head, unless he has a really big jaw under the ground there. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, his body looks not like a T-Rex, even though that looks like a very T-Rex-like head. It looks more, oh my gosh, they're getting by. Uh, will you be able to get that one, Quincy? You will be able to get a little bit, but not quite enough. That's okay, it happens. We got our second dude now. And then we're just going to uh, oh, make him go this way. Ah, oh, too late. <laughs> All right, Quincy, stop your complaining. So for right now, we'll make him do control points as well. Just like that. But he's obviously gonna save the 800 so that we can get more things done. And then it'd be really good. So everything is going okay. I do have Quincy's move now, so if things get bad, I need to focus on that. So that's our uh, camo right there, which wasn't too bad at all. We were able to handle it just fine. Okay, so yeah, money's not like pouring in at this rate, but it'll get better and better as we go along. 500, got the pursuit already. It's just so much easier, it's amazing. I think it's definitely better to have him on the right, that way he can maybe even go, like when they get past that skull, he can even go back there and focus on them a bit more. So we'll do the faster firing, faster darts, so it's just even more effective. We'll save up with that 1750. I think the Razor Rotors are pretty good. Oh boy, this is where things get nasty. Actually, let's go ahead and quickly do that. That wasn't enough. Come on. Does that help? Oh no. Oh no. I have greatly overlooked this. Um, What would help right now? That would. <laughs> that was a little dramatic. So that's something that we have to be aware of, that when we're doing a heli pilot strategy, we have no lead defense. Let's do spike pult then. spike a will definitely help. No, it won't. spike a doesn't do anything to LEDs. That's new to me. Uh, well then I guess do one more. <laughs> okay, well I know it will do something against LEDs. It's this guy with his red hot rings, which are pretty affordable. There we go. So we'll try that out. I can't believe that just happened. That was a mess. We'll probably just leave him how he is. Like, I mean, we might do uh, faster throwing so we can just pop those leads even faster when they start showing up again, inevitably. But if we could just leave it like this for a couple moments, that'd be great. <laughs> I can't believe he can't pop Moabs. I mean, pop leads. I mean, I guess like maybe the Apache dart ship would probably be able to do that. But it's gonna be tough getting there. We are getting closer to that uh, Moa Brown. I gotta be careful here. We're not earning up too much cash right now. It is definitely an expensive setup. Hmm. So hopefully things can go a little bit better. I can either save that 5,000. I can go for the 1750 here. I think it'd be better to get the 5,000 as soon as I can. So yeah, we'll try that. We have five rounds to go before that Moab. I don't know how to feel about that. Keep going for sure. Ooh, not bad, not bad. You're able to keep those guys back pretty well. This guy just has fantastic range on them. I don't know if he'll follow them like if he has indefinite range. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but you never know. Okay, you're handling them really well. I like the heli pilot. He's very cool. That's why I want to hear your thoughts on him. Sorry if I'm stuttering a lot today. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm trying my best not to, but sometimes I just can't help it. Okay, here come those leads, but good old boomerang monkey making it work. Okay, so we finally got that. We got the uh, Moab push. Lots of camos, but we're handling it. I can spend 200 just to get rid of them even more. 1750 should be fairly affordable compared to what we're dealing with because we need to save up 10,000 for you. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of balloons. But yeah, he just goes across the entire field. So definitely, I want the 1750 oh, yeah. so that no matter how far those balloons push, he can just keep chasing them and that's just beautiful. Got it, okay. And what else do we got going on? Now it's just, we can save up for 10,000. Oh, Come let's do that. There we go. That was okay, could have been better. And here we go, we got the Moab. We're pushing it back over and over again. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. If we're gonna do anything else then, might as well be that. Have that Moab press be ready soon enough. Or I can save up for the uh, Juggernaut because a Juggernaut can definitely pop leads, right? Pearls of Giant Spike Ball that excels at crushing ceramic balloons. Well, ceramics, ceramics are something I feel like would be a little weak to right now, so that isn't too bad to have. Let's keep moving. I think we should go for this other 1800. Oh gosh, that was a lot all of a sudden. Oh, a couple got past there, but not too much. We're at 146, we only lost four points of health then. We'll get the Moab press, because I don't know when the, whenever the next Moab might show up. We really gotta focus on this, some of this stuff going on right now. Ooh, look at this, we got our next upgrade. A Pache dart ship, let's get to it. I mean, that's also gonna be crazy expensive. It'd probably be a lot more viable to get another heli pilot out. 
Because that's just ridiculous. So I'm probably gonna just do the Comanche defense and then focus on some other stuff. I don't know, like the Comanche defense sounds weird. Like I don't really know what it's gonna work like. Only one way to really find out though. Okay, uh, Quincy got those because he's awesome. We're almost halfway there, almost at 5,000 coins and then we can keep moving forward with that. Okay, fortified ceramics are coming in. Well, that's why we have our one friend. Come on, keep popping those. Good job, good job. Oh boy, that was that's a lot. That is a lot. Um, okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's just do something like this, and then something like that. Oh gosh, we're gonna lose, aren't we? We might lose. That happened real fast. Come on, come on. No, we got this. We're cleaning it up. We're cleaning it up. Jeez. That is insane. I don't even know what we ran into that round that was so much. I wanna get rid of this, but how much is it to get rid of? A thousand, ugh. I just want the 10,000 real bad, but it might not be happening. We've already used so many superpowers. We already used two of them with the super monkeys. But that was just because I, I had poor planning, you know? Okay, almost 7,000. We only have 10 more rounds to go, so we really gotta start handling it better. Hmm, oh boy, here we go again. Come on, Quincy, do what you can. Do what you can, Quincy. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, is it? Okay, hold on. Oh no, come on, get him. Good job, good job. Quincy, I need you to stop complaining, buddy. Okay, we got these things. Oh boy, we got this Moab. Incoming, I know, oh no. Okay, you know what, we're gonna get another helicopter out and we're just gonna have a whole bunch of pursuit. No, come on, I'm just trying to play the stinking game. Ah, oh, I don't like that. Get this guy out. Get the pursuit going on. Get this. That helps out a lot. Whoa! Look at all those apache. Whatever. They, what is that? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know what that word means at all. But I guess when they start pushing by, look at all those camos going by. By we just lost, didn't we? Oh no! 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 Um. Ooh. So not enough camo protection. That stinks. That really stinks. Hmm. Trying to think then. I mean, I thought that Quincy would be good against that, but I guess Quincy isn't as good as he thought. I mean, I think this is good. I just need to get rid of that skull soon enough. Nothing gets past my bow. Hmm. But yeah, more camo protection, I feel like would be great. But I don't know. Like if I take a look at the heli again, I mean, he has the IFR and maybe I should focus on that. Like maybe we should do a, like a three, two, zero. Or do a couple of those. Because the camos are just being so overwhelming. But I'm glad we got to the Apache. That got me excited. You know, we just, we got there. I feel like I need to do that one last. <laughs> it's not good to start with. But this is fine. Like, we should be able to do this just okay. And then we'll get the first Heli Commando or whatever. And that shouldn't be too bad. And this one, we're gonna focus a lot better. Try to get more anti camo stuff out. Because we have some options for that. I just need to actually utilize them. Okay, almost at 900, so we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, this is turning out pretty well. I mean, we, we lost that one, but I think that I've, I'm warning a lot, and that's what's turning out well, you know? So, let's keep at it. It does, sometimes these first rounds are a little slow, though, to say the least. It takes a little while. I mean, he's just watching Quincy shoot his bow and arrow over and over again and compliment himself. He's really good at that part. Like, better than the whole bow and arrow thing, he's just really good at complimenting himself. Okay, almost at 1,500. We almost got it. Ready? Boom, okay, so I'm gonna put them back over this way, and then we're gonna do patrol points right here and here. Come on, come on, there we go. And that should be pretty good to start with. I want to save up 800. But now that we have Quincy's superpower, or his first superpower, things shouldn't be too bad with that, I don't think. We'll just have to wait and see. So right now, it's just pretty easy to handle. Round 10 isn't so bad so far. There we go, we got it. Got some yellow balloons now. So yeah, it's, it's just sort of a slow beginning, but that's fine, because it's gonna get wilder and wilder. More and more wild. And then I might not try as much with the, uh, the monkey. Like, we still need something that's gonna deal with leads. I think that's something we'll need to like have a better grasp on this time. And we will get that. I think it might just be the, uh, you know what, we'll try Ninja Monkey this time. Because he's pretty good against LEDs, I think. No, get that out of here. So bad with touchscreens, it'll never stop. 
So for 500, we can either go for the Pursuit or the Ninja Monkey. I think it'd be smarter to start with the Ninja Monkey, so that's what we'll get to. I need to put him pretty far out in front so that he can focus on that scary stuff that'll start popping up. But I'm pretty sure that he can immediately pop leads. If not, we'll still be in trouble. <laughs> that's for sure. So we'll get another 500 for the pursuit, because we still have another nine rounds to go before our camo problem pops up. So I'm just trying to deal with one thing at a time. And almost there, pursuit. Perfect. The perfect pursuit. So we're almost at our next uh, experience upgrade, which is gonna be 15,000 for the uh, support Chinook. And that shouldn't be too bad. So I don't think the bigger jets helps too much, but definitely we got destroyed by camos. That's what we got destroyed by. If we could find a way to fix that, that'd be amazing. So that's what we're working on now. And I think being able to uh, counter espionage them would be great. I don't think I want to do Shinobi Tactics because then I'd have to play more Ninja Monkeys and that's not sort of something I'm looking for. Okay, I got that. So if I take a look at these, do we have Ninja Discipline, Range and Attack Speed, Pop, four balloons each, Double Shot, Balloon Jutsu is super affordable, so I'm like looking into that maybe, or we could do sticky bombs for like anti-Moab, which might be good, or the flash bomb. You know, we'll, we'll go flash bomb strategy, so we'll do 0 2 four, maybe even 0 2 five. we'll have to wait and see. But for now I can do that, and I'll do cow traps, which are always good. But for now we need that 600, because I don't know, because we're about to be uh, in the danger zone for the camo. I think we popped it. Oh, I mean, Quincy can yeah. see camos for right now, but that definitely wasn't enough before, so I'm not gonna rely on that. Quincy was having a hard time last round. What do we got, 400 there? And uh, I mean, I could start working on this guy. I feel like I wanna yeah. wait a little longer, get a little farther, all that kind of stuff. I feel like I wanna do downdraft soon enough, especially now that we have the support Chinook. Next thing we're gonna be doing is a Pache Prime, which is 55,000. Maybe we'll do uh, special opera operations instead. Holy cow, crazy stuff. For right now, the uh, Razor Rotors are a little cheaper, so I wanna work with that. And then we'll do another one that has the downdraft, I think. Okay, oh, we got this now. Already? So no, you don't. You do not pop leads, of course. Maybe it was the Magic Monkey, if he has Fireball. There we go. Come on, Quincy. You gotta attack faster, Magic Monkey. You gotta attack way faster. Oh, that's gonna stink. So I don't know what I'm doing with the Ninja Monkey now. I know, we took a lot of damage there. It's okay, it happens. Hmm. Well, for now, this can handle it, I think. As soon as we get the uh, flash bombs, that'll that'll make things work as well. So there's just so much things to afford, it's crazy. Come on. You're doing better now, but I need you to pop more of it. You know what, let's actually get you to focus on strong. That would help. So you popped almost all of them, except for this last one over this way. Oh, well. <laughs> You're not gonna wanna do anything about it. Jeez. Come on. This is a mess. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time having a heli pilot strategy. But that's what's happening right now. Because all the normal balloons we're fine with. So if we could rush the flash bomb, because I'm pretty sure that would pop leads as well. That would be great. Almost there. But then we have to do something about the Moabs coming up and then it's just like, oh, it's a mess. It's a total mess for sure. Okay, ready, set. Got it. Okay, flash bomb will slow everybody down a little bit, as you can see, right? Whenever he throws it, they slow down a little bit. Not really all that much, but it's something. And that's what I need. I need a little bit of something to keep bringing me forward. So I'm gonna focus on getting the 1750 for you, upgrading the dart monkey, and moving on with that. Because we're getting there for the 1750. It's just, it's so difficult. This game gets crazy, crazy tough. I was like, no matter what decision I make, it may not be the right one. We'll do sharp shots. I think that might be better than faster shots, you know? Maybe, maybe not. All right, we got 625 coming up. Ready, and got it. So our Ninja Monkey does have an upgrade. 40,000 experience for some of them. I wanted to get the 50,000 for you, because I'm not gonna get that anytime soon anyways. Might as well save up for the big thing. Okay, so, uh. We should probably do Wall of Fire. I feel like it would be a good idea. Come on, got it. And then we could do Guided Magic. Arcane Blast might not be too bad. 
Okay, we'll leave it like that. I think he's pretty good for now. Good anti-lead. You can see camos, but this guy can unveil camos, so yes. that's pretty nice. We got some def decent stuff going on. So it's just sort of, what can I do in the next round before this, uh, this, um, what's his name, Moab shows up. <laughs> Forgot what it was called. I could probably get a second helipad ready to go. And then have him do faster firing. Uh, it would be nice to have Moab shove, but we couldn't get it in time. Patrol points right here to there, so that we can deal with this guy. Incoming. So how well will Come we do on, against this guy. thing? Not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, I like it. We definitely need to just work on Moab shove, and then maybe pursuit. 500, got it. So just go right to 5,000. That'd be great. That'd make me very happy. <laughs> oh boy. It's gonna be a little bit of a effort to save that up, but it should be fine. Overall, we'll have a good time, we'll get there, and everything will turn out okay. Quincy, oh, that was a little bit of a waste. Thought it was gonna be worse than what it ended up being. Probably another mob showing up soon though, so try to be prepared for that. Uh, I mean, not yet, actually, things are going pretty well. Come on, got it. So I don't have to worry about that for a little bit. Even though we got to 5,000 pretty quickly. We could do Sticky Bomb, like go really, really anti moab but I think it would be smarter to do Sharpshooter just because that's really nice to have. Come on, come on. Oh boy. Come on. Okay, so Sharpshooter, there it is. What is next? Either Dragon's Breath or Arcane Ma Mastery. One of the two, I have to decide soon. Or I can go all in and try to save 10,000. No, I do not want to remove that just yet. I mean, I just don't know if it's worth the 10,000 right now. So Sticky Bomb might be better, but I feel like not really. Hard to say. Maybe it'd be inter it would be interesting to try a monkey tower with these two. Like, I don't know if it actually helps is the problem. That's what I'm worried about. But if it does help, it would make a major difference. So we'll see if this is just a big waste of my money. Um, well, here's a way to find out. Primary training, should make it cheaper, right? All primary monkeys in radius. Oh, that's just primaries though. These aren't primaries. Um, provides 10% discount to all monkeys and upgrades tier three or less. Tier three or less, so nothing here would actually be changed. I have to get another one out, which wouldn't be too bad. Let's get a third heli monkey out and see if it gets any cheaper to afford these kind of things. So like right now it's, uh, 800 for the top one. If I do this, 720 for the top one, nice. Okay, so that's pretty good. That actually works. Um, I need you to do patrol points and go back between these two. And we'll probably, I, I want you to be top two and then, so two, four, zero, I think for you would be pretty good. So let's get that. And yeah, all your upgrades are cheaper. That's fantastic. That's gonna change some things up for the better, I think. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but I think it's gonna go well. So what is Monkey Commerce going to do? Um, additional 5% oh, discount yeah. that can stack up to two other villages with this upgrade. I don't know if that's all that great, but. And we have primary training and then primary mentoring. Monkey City gives you a free dart monkey every round. Ooh, that sounds great. It's actually not that expensive either. Monkey Town though is crazy expensive. All monkeys within the radius of the Monkey Town get extra cash per balloon pop. So that seems like it's worth saving for. Incoming. Oh, that Moab doesn't even know what's gonna happen to him. He just gets destroyed. Okay, this is turning out a little bit better this time, but this is where things got nasty before the last 10 rounds. So we'll have to see what ends up happening now. So we wanted to do downdraft to push the balloons back a little bit. That's a cool looking, uh, mo uh not Moab, but Heli, Heli Monkey, Heli Pilot. Okay, we might get that 10,000 real easy. And then we'll be making more money per pop, and then we'll get even more money even easier. <laughs> However you word that. You've popped 15,000 balloons. I think you've popped the most balloons out of anybody. So we're definitely doing way better this time. This is what I'm happy to see. Just took a little bit of work, a little bit of elbow grease. Come on now, come on. You got it. Yeah, okay, that's turning out all right. There's more than one Moab there, and we're pushing them back pretty well. Not running up as much money now. Some rounds are more fruitful than others. But that's just, you know, the way things work. 
And just like, it's gonna be like that all the way down. They're gonna keep pushing that back over and over and over again. A little bit more cash, ready, boom. And now we're gonna earn up money even faster, even more crazily Or Should we just do Arcane Mastery? I think so. Much longer range, which is always great. Arcane Spike is super expensive. I will just get rid of this thing, and then that'd be better. And then only, well we need 15,500, oh wow, we are, gonna, we are a while out before we do that. Okay, so that's not happening. But still, we get some extra money, which is great. We can get 4,500 for this dude, that'd be good. We should be able to do that pretty quickly, I hope. Okay, Quincy, help, help us out a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Should we do Master Bomber? It's a 4,500 experience. No, 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 this one. Okay, now it's 60,000. That's a little too much for me. Yes. Gotta be honest. Hmm. Then what's the next feasible upgrade I can get? Nothing with these guys, really, unless I wanna save up that 10,000 or the 12,000? Hard to say. I don't know if that's worthwhile, though, with how quickly things are coming to an end. So I think what would be better is if I just get some backdoor protection, we do something like this, I, uh, Get that, that'd be pretty good. 29.50 should be fine. So it looks like Monkey City and Heli Pilot is a pretty fun combo to say the least. I like it. So he's not gonna be doing too much at the moment, but soon enough, he'll be pretty wild. And we're keeping these things back really well. And we have Quincy's second upgrade, which we'll actually use right now because that was that was the end of it, awesome. So we got ourselves 250 more monkey money, which is awesome. I don't know if there's any other levels I wanted to do for today's episode. I guess we could go for one more. Uh, we can try to get something done on shoots for medium difficulty. I don't know if we'll succeed or not, but I'll try to go for a similar strategy. Oh, this is such a tough map. Why'd I choose this one? I guess we could get Quincy about here. That isn't that isn't too bad. Are you kidding me? Nothing gets no. past my bow. Yeah, you, you better say nothing gets past you. What next? Don't be rude now. Okay, so we'll try this out. We'll see how things go. I'll try to save that 1500 for the uh, immediate heli monkey, heli, uh, heli pilot, and see how things go. Right now though, this guy's gonna pop a lot of the balloons, which I'm not really sure if yeah. that's good, because I don't know if you get as much experience, but we'll have to wait and see. But it's always good to get the heroes on the first round so they can get at least you know as much experience as they possibly can throughout the game. And I think we'll be able to handle this. Everything has to go through this crossroads of sorts, so. It works out decently enough. These are actually pretty cheap to get rid of, so I'll look into that very soon. Oh wow, okay, maybe seriously? not, maybe not, I put... Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you, Quincy. Seriously, dude, you couldn't handle that? Okay, if you say so. All you gotta do is point and shoot. I say that, but I don't think I'd be doing a very good job if I was him. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't be so ju judgmental. Come on, we're almost there, almost at the 1500, and then you guys don't have to worry as much. So you guys can handle this just fine. I don't know what it was that got past you there. Oh, here we go, this is what's gonna be tough. Come on, come on, you got it. Good job, good job. As soon as we get Quincy's superpower, this will be a lot even even oh, easier yeah. to deal with. There we go. So, uh, if we need it, we have it, which we might. It's getting scary. Couple of greens coming up, we got it. So let's go ahead and do it now. That wasn't too bad. Oh, we're so close, we're so very close. Come on. 1,500, 1,500, 1,500. Come on, give it to me. I'm being so greedy. And I'll just put it right in the center, I think would be pretty good. And then when it comes to the pursuit, or the uh, patrol points, I guess I'll do from here to here and just sort of see how that ends up working out. Might have to change it every round, to be honest with you. But, um, oh, it's gonna be tough at first, but he's doing a pretty decent job of destroying it. I think for right now, we'll do that, and that'll be better. But we never really know where they're popping up until it's too late. I mean, I think it's back and forth. I don't think it's like a different one, like it's random each time. Yeah, I think it's, that's exactly it. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna be back and forth this way, which is good. I wanna save up that 800 for sure. I think having the first heli pilot has to be pursuit. It just has to be. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold on, slow this down. Come on. Go ahead and make your super because I'm making major mistakes right now. Oh, we're getting there, it's just taking time. There it is, okay, 800, we just need another five. Don't forget to patrol over this way. So close to pursuit, and then everything will be beautiful again. In the meantime, it's just difficult to jump back and forth like that. But he's really good at just destroying them all by himself. I mean, he has a 400 yes. popped already. That's better than Quincy and the Dart Monkey, so that's good. It'll be even better once he has pursuit, <laughs> what do you know? 
Come on. Almost at 400 now. Yeah, he's just doing it all by himself. We don't even need Quincy right now. Maybe for these yellows, but no, they got passed. Awesome, we got it. Don't even need it anymore. Go and get it, champ. Because he's just gonna be able to fly around this map, no problemo. It's awesome. So we don't even have to worry as much about getting rid of these uh things. The uh the statues. And then we'll do it. Since there's a lot of movement he has to do, I think bigger jets would actually be helpful for him to have a little bit faster movement. Oh. And of course, then he can see the camos, and that's always a beautiful, beautiful thing. Come on now, come on now. 600? 600. So should we do, I think we should still do Razor Rotors, because I think it it really does keep all of those balloons back pretty well. And then we can do a second one that can do the uh, updraft or the downdraft or whatever. Okay, this we might need Quincy for, not quite. Okay. I mean, I guess I should just keep saving then. Or that full 1750. I mean, I don't know if it's entirely rationally like you need it right away with all these white balloons coming in. We are able to handle it, but it was getting a little scary. Okay, we're almost there anyways. Okay, so you can just get rid of that camo, no problem. Beautiful stuff. And then we can get this. Even better. Have an even harder time getting past us. I wanna focus on him a little bit now, just to have a little bit more camo protection. We'll do sharp shots. And razor sharp shots. We'll save the 625 for later, I suppose. Okay. Hmm. I think it's time to save up for our next heli pilot. That seems like the next best bet. And then soon enough, we'll get the monkey tower out. I think I'll probably put the monkey village between the two heli pilots or about the place, you know? That might be good. Okay, so you pop leads now. What's making you pop leads? Son of Quincy. Is it the razor rotors? Oh, it is, including lead and frozen balloons. Okay, so I should just rush that next time. Didn't even realize. I thought I had read that in today's episode. Must have not have. Okay, so we have 13 or 20. We could go ahead and place this right now. You know, let's go ahead and do it. Because that should still benefit you overall. And uh, oh, yeah. now we just gotta save up about another thousand coins. And we'll have another heli pilot to work with, as long as it's in that range, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. And we're, we're gonna try to squeeze in three of them in there, like last time. I mean, it might be better to have like bigger radius and then monkey business. Is it monkey commerce that does? Uh, no, no, no. So it should be fine how it is. Okay, so we just need to get another one over there. And then, you know, the uh, the next uh, heli pilot should be a little bit more affordable when it comes to his upgrades, which is always super appreciated. I think it's just a bunch of camos or something. Oh, we're getting close to that Moab, though. Like, it's scary how fast that happens. And it's gonna be so tough. No matter what, it's gonna be super tough. Okay, let's get our second one out then. Got it. Okay, so that's definitely in range. Now, we're not gonna make this one as fast because we also need it to be rushed with Moab shove, so right now we'll do this, and then we'll try to get the 720. He's just sort of sitting there for now. We don't super duper need them. Actually, maybe we do. Uh, maybe we do, maybe we do. Lots of pinks, but we're handling it. Come on, come on, ready? 450, almost there, almost there. Ready, pursuit. Got it, go get him, dude. Go get him, soldier. You got him, hopefully. So we got a couple of rounds to earn up 4,000. Don't know if that's gonna work out. But if we can get 5,500 in total, we can get the 4,000, oh no, no. Okay, 6,000 in total, because we have the 4,500 here, the 1,500 there, that'd be pretty good. So you're popping those leads, not as fast as I'd like, but you're popping them all right. Okay, almost at round 40, I'm getting nervous. Can we get 2,000 more dollars, coins, whatever they might be, right here? I don't know. Ooh, that's pushing past fast. But we're getting it, nice. Nice, okay, good job, level 52 as well. Another monkey knowledge point to spend at the end of today's episode. Almost there, only another thousand dollars. We should be able to get that this round, right? I would hope so, but I don't know, I don't know at all. Come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it, perfect. Okay, so we have enough to deal with this just like that. So you're gonna be good with the Moabs, and you can just push him back constantly and really beat him up, and then buy his time for Percy, not Percy, Quincy, <laughs> to have his thing, but he didn't actually get it. We were able to beat it though, so that's awesome. That was my biggest worry. Now we can get 1500 for this. Those two should be attacking even faster now. 
Okay. I mean, I don't know if, yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Hmm, so we should probably put some primary monkeys around you. Probably just, oh, I wish the sniper monkey was primary. He is not. Yeah, I don't really know what I'd put around you that would actually reach though, so I don't know if it'd be worth it. Because primary is all the blue ones, I think. I mean, we could do a buccaneer monkey to finish things off. I know we've been doing that strategy a lot today, but it works, it's so good. How is your experience doing? 46,000, so you almost have some of these. You actually have enough for the special operations, but not enough for some of these other two. Hmm, okay. I think we'll just keep saving. And maybe we'll push into free play if it turns out well enough, you know? I mean, maybe Monkey Town would be good to save for if things are going well, which for right now they are, but things can go so bad so quickly in this level, that's what I mean. <laughs> Gosh darn it. It is so hard to do a heli, uh, heli pilot strategy. It's even harder to remember the name of that tower for some reason. But that was a lot of fun either way. We'll spend our one knowledge point once again on heroes because I think that's good, especially if we can increase its level 20. That might be good. At level 20, heroes is level three ability cooldown reduced by 40%. That's okay. But I think this right here, hero training cost reduced by 10% can be okay. But what's after that, heroes earn experience 10% faster is way good. So we're gonna go ahead and get that just so that we can get this next. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Balloons Tower Defense 6. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Pilot so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.